This is AudioQ's iPad teleprompter. It's compatible with the iPad and the iPad mini. It's very flexible. You can mount just about any camera to it, from DSLRs right up to ENG cameras. Hi, I'm Mark, and in this video, we'll look at how to set it up. You first need to mount the prompter to the tripod. So remove the quick release plate from the tripod and fit it to the underside of the unit. It fixes to the sliding block, where you'll find both 3 8 and quarter fixings. Use both if possible. This stops the unit from moving out of line with the tripod head. The block slides along the full length of the unit. This enables you to balance the system when the camera's fitted, with no need for any counterweights. But for now, fix it in place about 3 inches from the end. When the screws are locked down, the block is fixed in place. And now the prompter can be mounted to the tripod. The next step is to fit the glass. First release the thumb screws in the glass frame and open the frame. Remove the paper from the glass and place it in the hood, making sure that the blue dot is facing up. Now close the frame, ensuring that the glass is aligned with the frame and retighten the thumb screw. You can now fit the iPad. Simply place it in the mount and close the clamp. Secure it with the two thumb screws on the underside. The hood assembly can now be raised and fixed in place. There are two thumb screws, one on each side, that align with two slots as the hood is raised. Tighten the two thumb screws to lock it into place. Now the camera can be fitted. It's very important that the camera lens is in the centre of the glass and as close to the glass as possible. The iPad prompter has a very flexible camera mount that can be configured to fit just about any camera, from DSLRs right up to the largest ENG cameras. To extend the length of the camera plate to mount large ENG cameras, simply remove two of the four thumb screws in the side of the camera mounting plate and slide it out, replacing the thumb screws in the next hole along. The camera is fixed to the mount using a quarter camera screw. This is included in the kit. To raise the height of the camera mounting plate, remove the plate completely by removing four thumb screws and then fit four pillars in the sliding nuts. and then fix the camera mounting plate to the top of the pillars using the screws provided. If you need more height, four additional pillars are provided to extend the height of the pillars, should you need to. When you have the camera fitted, the lens sensor can be fine-tuned by raising or lowering the hood. To move the hood, release the two knobs on the back of the hood and slide the hood up and down until the lens sensor is set correctly. Ensure that the light excluder on the rear of the hood is pulled up tight around the lens using the drawstring. This stops any light from entering the back of the hood, which may cause flares or degrade the reflected image. If you need to, you can fine tune the balance by loosening the quick release plate and sliding the entire assembly back and forth to get the perfect balance. If you're using an iPad mini as a display, you can adjust the iPad mount to fit the mini. First remove the front mounting bracket by removing the two screws and then refix it using the first two holes in the bracket. Next, move the two corner mounts to the alternative fixing by removing the two screws and refixing them to the sliding mount. And that's it, the mount's now set to hold the iPad mini. There's a carry case available for the iPad teleprompter. It stores the entire system, including iPad controllers, chargers, etc., and an iPad in a case. All you need to do now is install the app iAutoQ on your iPad, and you're ready to go. 
You'll find full details about the app on autocue.com and a link to download it from iTunes. Thanks for watching.